after the end of World War II with the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, <laughs> the United States experienced its second Red Scare. <laughs> Thus began the Cold War. Yes, yes, communism is very bad, and we will do everything we can to keep communism inside the sweaty palms of Joseph Stalin's Soviet Union. The United States began its campaign to fund the impoverished European countries, economies, and promote capitalism before the ideas of communism could reach their ears. The government began to weed out people who were suspected of being a commie. When whispers of the dreaded communism crept into the thoughts of the Korean Peninsula, the United States military was there to defend freedom. The United States then began an arms race with the communist countries, seeing who could make the best world-destroying nuke first. Eisenhower warned Americans of the domino theory. Do you see these dominoes here? Do you? If we do nothing about the spread of communism, countries will tumble. Just like the dominoes! Save the dominoes! Oh, communism! Communism bad! That is how the United States got involved in the Vietnam War. But first, the country of Cuba came out of the closet as communist huh? and pointed some pointy missiles at us. John F. Kennedy settled that threat and then promptly died. Yeah! But now, back to the war in Vietnam. Good old Lyndon B. Johnson wanted to stop communism from spreading to Southern Asia. Communism is threatening to take away our trade of fish from Vietnam. And I will not allow this to happen. Now somebody get me a McFish biscuit. Many Americans died in this war. Yeah! Thankfully, the great President Nixon dipped out of Vietnam before things got ugly. After this, the tensions between the Soviet Union and the United States relaxed a little. And finally, in the presidency of George H.W. Bush, the Cold War ended.